My name is Ben Salstrom. I'm just going to show you really quick how to pair your Skybell. I uh, highly recommend using an iPhone, if at all possible, uh, to uh, pair your Skybell with your Skybell app because the iPhone seems to just work a little bit smoother. If you're going to use Android, sometimes there's a few additional steps that you need to make sure everything is good to go. So first thing you're going to do is hit Add a New Skybell. Okay, let's begin. Make sure your Skybell is flashing uh, green and red, which ours is. Hit next. Now we need to go over to settings and connect to the Skybell network. So it should come up here in just a second. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and connect to that. Wait until there's a check mark, which there is now. Now we're going to go back to the Skybell app. And there um, it has uh, selected. Now tell Skybell which device, which network is your home network. So we're going to click on the one for that. Hit next. And now I just have to put in my password for it. and hit next. Okay, now it says it's configuring my Skybell. As you can see, it is now blinking orange, which is one of the steps through which it must go. And I'll just let this run through full length here so you can see how it all works. Okay, now we're going um, blue and green alternating which I believe is connecting to the server. Oh, there you go. Success. Your Skybell is ready to use. So, um, we're going to go to my Skybell. Now I've got the front door one right there. Now if I press this button, it should ring the doorbell in the house, as well as out here and on the phone. We'll see. Okay, so um, someone pressed the front door bell button thing, so we'll hit watch live and see if this works here and the video is not coming through right now uh, sometimes this can be a little bit finicky and you have to try it a couple of times to get it to connect through so we'll just hit it again here once and we'll turn the volume down so that it doesn't get that echoing and there we are so you can see us here. Our internet connection here is not as fast as they technically recommend. Oh, you know what we need to do? Right now it's still on 1080p. So let me show you how to configure the the settings for the Skybell really quick. So on the front door here, I'm going to hit settings. And since we have only, well, let's see here. It's on 720p better, but we're going to just change it to 720p good because we only have about one megabit per second upload speed here which is not terrific. Uh, so, and then I'm gonna leave everything else the same at the moment. Hit done. Now if we watch live, it should be a tiny bit better. We'll see here. There we go. Still a little bit glitchy, but that's how you configure your Skybell. If you have better internet, you're gonna have better results. On the whole, we're pretty happy with it working fine. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Talk to you later.